Dímelo mi gente, welcome back, here I am again with another review. And what I'm bringing you today is something that when I, when I smell it, it's an old school fragrance. It gives me such a nostalgic feeling of back in the days when I was in high school. What year was that? I'm not letting you know, 80s. Um, so uh, yeah, so it, it's one of those sophisticated scents. So um, without further ado, let's rock and roll. So like I was saying, um, you know, when I smelled this for perfume for the first time, it was like, wow, man, that smells so, so old school. It reminded me of so many good times uh, when I was back in high school and even after. Um, this is the type of scent that um, if you're under 30, um, unless you've got an old school or you like the old school, um, you know, style and vintage and things of that nature, this is something that you might want to wear. Uh, but this is basically for that, you know, mid to mature uh, audience. Uh, with that fragrance because it is so, uh, you know what, uh, shut up, let's see what it is. All right, well, this is none other than Creed. Boy de Portugal, or Boys de Portugal. If I butchered the name, I'm sorry. This thing, oh my God. I got crickets in the background. Already wife texting me. Oh my God, this thing smells fire. You know, for some reason, this kind of uh, reminds me of Lagerfeld. If I remember correctly, this kind of smells like Lagerfeld. The notes, I mean, I know that I always say that I'm not gonna talk about notes, but um, as, I, as I looked around, um, you know, to find out about this, it's got one note, lavender. Of course, you know, it's uh, it, it's got musk and, whatever Creed does to whatever, but at the main note is lavender. But man, it smells so so smooth and it's got that, you know, that gentleman quality. Um, where can you wear this? I mean, for me, I find that this is some, you know, this is like a versatile year round type of fragrance. Um, you know, corporate meetings, um, you know, um, evenings out, uh, sophisticated, it's, it's, it's got that quality, it's got that, you know, uh, Rat Pack feel. Uh, back in the day, um, you know, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. style type thing. Um, I know that's not 80s, that's going way back. Um, but, it's just got that feel. However, uh, I'm not just reviewing this, because you know I'm all about the cheap. This, I got it from uh, my boy, Mar Mobile, uh, off of eBay. God, that he, he, you know, he's really reputable. Guys, check him out. This is a 30 um, mil decant uh, because, you know, this this retail price on this is in the 200 range, 200 plus, uh, which, yeah, I, I can't, I can't fork that over. Got kids. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, um, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, and going over to find something that's affordable to, you know, something similar to this, if you can't fork out the 200 plus bills to buy this, um, there is, uh, uh, you know, do a fragrance, do a fragrance. This is Royal Portugal. This thing right here is in my opinion, between 90 and 95% spot on. Spot on, it is phenomenal. Uh, differences between this and this, this is super smooth from the beginning. This has a little bit of a citrusy opening, uh, but the dry down, wow, you know, it's, it's all about the dry down, you know? It's, I have them both. I sprayed them both about half an hour to an hour ago, and um, I got Dua Fragrance right here. I got Creed over here, and it's they're they're pretty much bang on, spot on, very very similar. Um, and you can pick this up. You know, uh, Dua's always got coupons going. 
um, you know, percentages off. You know, I got this one from uh, from Mike because uh, he does the sample. So if you want to go ahead and reach out um, to to Smell Suds, um, did I say that right? Smell Suds or Sud Smells? I'll put it down in the description. Um, I got this from uh, Mike so that he can uh, go ahead and let, let me try out and see what it smells like. And this is a three mil, but this is phenomenal. Royal Portugal is another alternative to uh, Boy de, de Portugal because, um, again, you know, it's a 30 mil versus a, you know, 75, 100 mil. And, and the prices, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're very affordable for Dua if you can't afford the, the Creed like myself or if you want to get a decant. Um, I think that this is one of those that, you know, um, you can go either way with this guy or um, with this guy, but you can get a, an affordable decant uh, more or less uh, at the same price level as do a fragrance. So that's something that you gotta make a judgment call. Do you wanna go with the original or do you wanna go with Dua? Dua's badass anyway. So either way you go, you're not gonna go wrong. Now here's another um, option that I ventured out and um, I heard that they were, it was a clone of um, Boys de Portugal, Portugal and that is um, Armoff's Derby Clubhouse. Now, I, you know, don't get me wrong. The juice in here is nice. This is nice. I really like it. But is it a clone of Creed's Boys de Portugal? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. It has the same vibe. The notes are the same, but however, you know, sometimes you, it's very suspect when you go on our, our MOF site uh, because you look up the notes and they, they, they list the notes the same as the notes that are in the original. So is it that they're really putting that in here uh, and in all their clones, or is it just that they're just, you know, since it's a clone, they're gonna say this is what's there, this is what's, um, what we put in there. With that being said, this thing here, let me tell you what this kind of smells like. First of all, I got this for 20 bucks. Second of all, it's not easy to get. I mean, you can get it on eBay, which is where I got it, but you look around for it and not many fragrance houses have them. Um, you know, a fragrance retail houses have them. I checked Fragrance Net, I checked Max Aroma, I checked, no Tino's that doesn't carry stuff like this. But, um, at least I didn't see it. If they do, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, I did not see any of this anywhere. But with that being said, and, th and this is the second thing that I I can't fathom somebody wanting to, you know, bootleg an arm off. I know that people are out there. I don't know. This is a little suspect. If you look at, you see how this is kind of like slanted, you know, this to, to describe what this is, this is like a felt um, sticker. You see how, how you can see like the butt? So I don't know. And then if you look closely here, you see how the, the details kind of crappy. And then, you know, uh, it just, you know, oh, you saw my monitor, huh? Uh, you, <laughs> I, you know, if you look at it, I don't know. Did I get, did I get screwed? Is this? Crap. Is this something that somebody, you know, just shoved something in there and said, this is, you know, Derby Clubhouse. I don't know. I can't say it is. I can't say it isn't. Uh, the box looks legit. I mean, all this looks legit. I don't know if this is the way it comes. I, I don't know. If anybody out there knows any or has this and their bottle looks the same, let me know. Say, yo, bro, this is the same thing. Yeah, you didn't get screwed. But does this smell like this no no i'm sorry no does it take away that it is not a good fragrance it does not it is a super nice fragrance i will wear this day in and day out and for 20 bucks <laughs> hell yeah so you know what can i tell you so there you have it. That's my review today. I haven't seen anybody on uh, YouTube talk about this one. 
So I hope maybe is you know because I suck searching anyways. Uh, but maybe if there's somebody out there that has um, you know done a review on Derby Clubhouse, you know hit me up. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts if anybody owns this and has done a comparison um, as I have. And give me your thoughts. Comment down below and let me know what you think. With that being said, guys, it's always a pleasure. I like doing this. Um, I like giving out contact. Hopefully, I can give you more content um, on a weekly basis. It just depends on my schedule and, you know, I got kids. So, uh, I know there's no excuses. But please don't forget to subscribe. Let everyone know in your freaking family that I'm doing this. If you watch me, if you're subscribed to me, uh, just let, you know, let everybody know, hey, check this guy out. Subscribe, like, share, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm in the forums. And uh, thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day. Much love, much energy, positive energy for everyone. See you later, guys.